Just wanted to make a video, show you a little more on how I uh, make camshafts. Um, I don't really have uh, any complicated tools that I use. I have a uh, rotary grinder, a quarter inch uh, shaft rotary grinder, and then uh, you know I think it's a four and a half inch uh, hand grinder for welding, and also a uh, six inch uh, pedestal grinder, I guess you call it. This one's an old lad. It's a D belt drive with a wire brush on it there. Um, that's the, one of the main ones I use. You can get it to shape with a uh, hand grinder, but they're they're pretty coarse. They take it off pretty quick. And uh, with uh, the rotary grinder, um, you'd want to use a uh, cylindrical uh, grinding uh, wheel, kind of like a miniature version of that. But I did use the cone, but just because it was on it. Uh, I got a varying selection of uh, camshafts here. Uh, Here's one of the new uh, plastic ones. Uh, I've only used one of those. Um, you can use them for compressed air and stuff because they uh, they will take that kind of abuse um, with, say, JB welded up lobes and that type of thing. So uh, they're not uh, just garbage. And uh, for some of you that don't have access to a welder or anything, uh, that might be an option. You can you know, try JB welding it and that type of thing. So what they have their, uh, you know, they, they can be used for, for things still. I got a uh, stock camshaft there. Uh, a little lobe separation on it and that. And, and my uh, compressed air camshaft that I'm working on here. So I get to, uh, got to have uh, double uh, lobes on it uh, to turn it into effect a two stroke so that uh, pushes the piston down uh, every time it comes up. And I have some very unusual ones here. These are uh, full speed camshafts that I've welded a crankshaft gear onto uh, a camshaft. Got the cam machine down to the size of the crankshaft gear. And uh, these are for uh, two strokes. I did, uh, did run uh, one of them on a uh, uh, compressed air engine, I was going to say steam engine, but compressed air engine, and uh, it, uh, it worked well. You can get uh, a lot more precise timing on a two-stroke with a uh, full-speed uh, camshaft. Uh, it's just the, the way it works out. Uh, get a lot more lift and uh, be more precise with it because your, your cam is moving so much faster. Um, I'll make another video to explain uh, a bit about that, but and then there's my uh, half-inch piece of pipe that I, uh, whenever I'm welding the cams, I stick that on the end to uh, as a shield for the uh, bearing surface. So uh, I don't want to get uh, weld spatter. You can see this one. Uh, hopefully, I got a bunch of weld spatter on it, but there's nothing on the bearing surface. That's just a rough welded one there. Uh, actually, I'll show you a little bit here. Uh, a little bit of little bit of grinding here. Just gotta make sure the camera's seeing what I want it to see. Fortunately I can't zoom in. I'll make a few sparks fly here. Get stuff down here so that it doesn't fall. Not the ideal situation to work here, but See, I did a little bit of just started to grind on it there. So it takes a uh, takes a fair amount of time to uh, grind the lobes uh, down from when you weld it to the the shape you want. This one's got a little long ways. Anyway, this vid's getting too long, so I'll uh, make another one. Uh, yeah, I also use uh, flat files and then to polish them, say 600 grit uh, sandpaper. 
Anyway, we'll catch you later.